And welcome to First Taste TV. Great breakfast item for way on the 50 mm. cents. It tastes like love. Uh, in a battle trivia royale. <laughs> it's great to know where you can add flavor without adding that sodium. And they have a brand new, never before seen exclusive item to show us today. Do you like quick, easy, and delicious? Us too. That's why our new chicken breast strips come fresh, fully cooked, and ready to eat. Perfect for salads, bowls, wraps, and anything else you're in the mood for. Great food made simple. And welcome to First Taste TV. Today's featured partner is John Souls Foods. And what are they bringing today? I don't know, we'll just have to find out. After the ICN resource of the day. Register now to attend free, live, interactive training sessions for child nutrition professionals. Available now are Nutrition 101, Basic Culinary Math, Training Diverse Groups, Food Safety Basics, and more. All the benefits of a live ICN consultant training experience through their virtual platform. Did I mention that it's free? Brought to you by the Institute of Child Nutrition. So John Souls Food, ProView K-12, Steve Shockley. Steve Shockley, everyone. Welcome. Glad to be here, glad to join you today and uh, talk about our line of K-12 products. Before we talk about that, let's talk about you. What do you do? So I'm the regional sales manager for K-12. Really enjoy my job and I love being able to work with school nutrition directors and offer delicious products at a very competitive price. I've been with John Souls now for going on six years, but I've been selling the ProView brand chicken products since December of 2007. So walk me through this. John Souls is the company, and ProView is actually a brand <clears throat> within that company. That's correct. John Souls Foods specializes in retail sales, industrial sales, street food service, and they bought our company to be able to sell breaded chicken in those markets. And so we continue to sell these products in the K-12 segment. But you guys eat more than chicken, even on retail, right? Yeah, absolutely. We do chicken, we do beef, uh, we have some pork carnitas. Uh, we're a diversified company and in these difficult times, it's been very important uh, for us to be diversified because as our schools have began to shut down, we've still had a strong presence in the retail market. And so we're a very strong, flexible company in that respect. So what are you guys known for in the retail market? Mm. We are known for fajita meat. Uh, okay. We are the number one fajita meat producer in the country. And is that what you have here? Yeah, we have two bags here that you would see in any of your major retailers, yeah. uh, our chicken fajitas and our beef fajitas. Ooh. That looks tasty. I think I've actually seen that in the stores. You yeah. have? Yeah. That's so cool. It's delicious. It's, they're phenomenal products. We have both fresh and frozen. Wow. Cool. Let's talk about schools. What do you have in schools? So for schools, we offer a large variety of products. Uh, you can see here on the display platter, we have our rotisserie pulled chicken, our chicken sausage patties, buffalo glazed boneless wings, breaded tenders, grilled fillets, grilled strips. And these come in an assortment of different shapes, <laughs> sizes, flavor profiles, uh, and different meat blocks. So you could get trim meat, solid muscle, or ground breast. Wow, that's fantastic. So what separates you from your competition? So we're very, innovative, we're very flexible, mm -hmm. we're a family owned business. So it's two brothers that are co-owners and they allow us to really pursue new opportunities. Mm. Uh, we like to partner with school systems to not necessarily create an item and try to sell it to them, but partner with them and say, what can we do to increase your participation? What can we do to help your uh, program? And so we try to work hand in hand with those school systems to uh, offer the best product available. That yeah. is amazing because you need to be a partner and that's what sets you apart, so. Yes, and we also do not commodity process. Okay. We're a commercial only company. And so because of our size and our flexibility and our innovation, we have a lot of efficiencies and procedures in place that allow us to keep a very low cost on this restaurant quality product. Say that to everyone again. So even though it's not commodity processed, it is still within our budget and within our reach. Absolutely. When you consider 
fee for service, donated food cost, nine times out of 10, we can provide a much higher quality item at a price that's lower than your commodity price. And that's been paramount to our success as a company is offering that high quality product without the price tag. Fantastic. That's what we like to hear. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's talk about the product. What do we have here? What's going on? So we have two new items that I wanted to debut. He said, oh, he said new. He Hold said on one new. second. You get a prize. Boom. Oh, wow. Who I'm placed so your honored. product on the coding board? Ta-da! <laughs> Magical. <laughs> so take us through this new item. So today we have our new breaded filet and it's designed to look and taste just like a very popular fast food chain chicken sandwich that you may have read about in the news. So how new is this? This is brand new. You are the first two people to lay eyes on this product outside of John Soul's Foods. Hence the first taste TV cutting board, I guess, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> cool. So we're getting literally the first taste of this product. Yes, ma'am. So I'd love to cut a few pieces for you to let you sample. Please do. Please. Great. Now this is incredible. You're telling me that this is baked, not fried. That's correct. This is a solid muscle filet, four ounce filet. I mean, I, you're cutting this and I'm just looking at it right here. This looks like whole a whole piece of chicken. It is, absolutely. Uh, we have state-of-the-art equipment in our facilities that cut these pieces of meat with a water knife. And they can be calibrated to do different diameters, mm -hmm. different weights, and so, this being solid muscle, you get a very consistent and uniform piece count in the box. So excuse my ignorance, but you said a water knife? Is a this water a, knife. Is this literally like a knife made of water slicing chicken? Basically, yes. Okay. Like a wet saw? Yes, so uh, it's called a DSI <laughs> machine. Okay. That is so cool. Yes, and so we have butterfly chicken breasts that come down a line, they're scanned with a laser, and so the water knife cuts it to our specifications. That is some high-tech stuff right there. You can it keep is. talking, but I'm diving it in. Is. Yeah. <laughs> so please dig in. This is my piece, it's not yours. Oh my gosh. So you Good. get the flavor of fried chicken, mm -hmm. the texture of fried chicken, but the product is baked. But that not is the calories. Delicious. That's right. That is delicious. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have some more. We think it's going to be an item that really helps participation in the cafeterias. This is going to be absolutely student acceptable. This is right along the lines of what they're seeing out in the retail market. And That's to be right. able to bring this into schools, this is going to speak to the high quality absolutely. that we are all striving to achieve. Yeah, I think a lot of kids are uh, a little worn out with the just typical nuggets and patties. Mm. And so we're wanting to add variety, innovation, value, flavor. Uh, you know, kids eat with their eyes. Mm. And so when children go outside of school, they're used to a certain level of quality and appearance. And so we're trying to match that. And we, we feel like some of the major fast food chains have done a really good job with their marketing and figuring out what the consumer base wants. And so in a way, we're trying to bring that quality and style into K-12. Well, they've already done the research and mm -hmm. you have definitely emulated that. Mission accomplished. Thank you very for much. For sure. Thank you. So what's this, what, what do we have here? So this is another new item that we have. It is a chicken sausage patty. I'm gonna keep eating. And it's 100% chicken. It has no thigh meat whatsoever. It's all breast meat. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a clean label item. There's nothing artificial in the product. There's no soy. It's pure breast meat. Now, if you add thigh meat to a chicken sausage patty, mm -hmm. when the product's cooked, there will be some drawdown. The, the product will shrink a little bit. So us using breast meat, we keep the fat content lower, the sodium lower, and we get to maintain the, the true form of the item. Mm. Now this product is designed to taste just like a very popular branded pork sausage patty that you would see at all major retailers. I had no idea that so much thought and science went into chicken. This is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And we use ground breast for this item mm -hmm. and it's very popular. It's a 1.5 ounce finished weight item that does equal a one meat. Okay. And how are most districts using this? They're using it obviously for breakfast mm -hmm. on a biscuit or on a roll. Okay. And so uh, it's a it's an item that we think is going to be very popular and it's extremely affordable. Ooh. Amazing. I, I like, like financial. Could I cut you a sample? Uh, Please do, for sir. For sure. Yeah. It always seems like you have to compromise on taste to stay within sometimes your financial limitations. But you're saying with John mm. Souls, I don't have to do that. That's correct. We have procedures in place and efficiencies that allow us to create these delicious products at a very low cost. Fantastic. And so we pass those savings on to you.
Well, I gotta try this. Yep. Mm -hmm. Does not taste like chicken at nope. all. Not at Crazy. all. Crazy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So Amanda is an operator. I am. Why should she try you guys out? Well, we feel like we're the experts at chicken. And we offer a very high quality, restaurant quality product at below commodity pricing. Okay. We have seen that our products considerably increase participation in the cafeteria. That's always good. Absolutely. And the kids want more and more. So we view ourselves as the perfect partner for school operators. Well, you heard it here on why you have to check out John Sewell's company. But let's do something fun. Let's do it. Game time? Game. Let's do it. Game on. We're here for some John Sewell's fun, and we have brought Chef Sharon to join in on the action. Welcome. Thank Ooh. you. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Okay, you ready for some truth or dare? Let's do it. All right. First, Steve, you either have to answer the question okay. or stick your hand in the mystery box, okay? You ready? I'm ready. What's the meanest thing you've said behind a client's back? And name the client. We're going for the box. Okay. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Can you guess what you're touching? This feels like fishing lures. What kind of game is this? <laughs> I was right. Worms, fishing what lures. What is it? Oh, all right. right. That was the right decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh -oh. Marlon, I've got a question for you. This is uh, gonna be good. What's your most disgusting personal habit? You mm. wanna answer the question, or are you gonna stick your hands in the box? I'm gonna go with the box. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Wish you had answered. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> what in the world is this? A banana. <laughs> oh! <Ew. laughs> All right, switcheroo. I'm really afraid about this. You're gonna be okay. We hold my hand. Okay. <laughs> it's good to have a friend. Amanda, are you ready? I don't know. I'm gonna ask anyway. Go ahead. What is the most embarrassing thing you've been caught doing? Can I answer that one? What? Just put your hand in the box. All right. I'm afraid. What the heck is, what is this? Oh, this is a gummy bear. I'm there. <laughs> Way to go. You were very confident. Yeah, I put it right in my mouth. <laughs> so Chef Sharon Schaefer, share a secret that you promise to never tell. Oh. I probably could answer that, but I'm gonna go with the no. box. Oh. All right, no. Pine cones. Is it pine? Wow. Wow. Girls win? win? No. No. No, guys won. Tiebreaker? Tiebreaker? All right, tiebreaker. Ready? Yeah. All right, I'll go first. All right, cool. Ooh. Oh. Go ahead. What is your biggest pet peeve regarding your co star? That's an extremely difficult question because there are no pet peeves, right? Spill it, Amanda. For the sake of the show, I'll go in the box. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> What the heck is this? Oh, it's like crunchy, but it's like, I have absolutely no idea what this is. You're not gonna help me cheat. You can do this. You know what guys, I'm, ooh. It's a plate. It's a plate, I win. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plate. My turn. All right, you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Um, of the people in this room, mm -hmm. Who would you least want to switch lives with and why? I'm sorry, Steve. It's Amanda. <gasps> Stick your hand in the box. <laughs> Get in the box. Get in the box. What is it? What is it, huh? It's rubbery. Kind of squishy. Stretchy. I think it's a, a rubber chicken. Boom. A rubber chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has certainly been a fun and exciting episode. Chef Sharon, thank you for being my teammate. Absolutely. Much appreciated. And thank you, Steve Shockley, for representing John Sewell's Foods. Thank you. For more information, go to firsttastetv.com and click on this episode. And catch us next time on First Taste TV. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you like quick, easy, and delicious? Us too! That's why our new chicken breast strips come fresh, fully cooked, and ready to eat. Perfect for salads, bowls, wraps, and anything else you're in the mood for. Great food, made simple.